they're, they're called tip downs. And for anybody that doesn't understand it, it's pretty much a reverse tip up. But what you got is you got to stand, and then you got a rod. You got a fishing rod that has a rod through it. And that'll sit right on top of your stand. And it pretty much works as, as a lever system. Normally you'd run, they're called rosy minnows, which is the red minnow, it's kind of like a goldfish color. Um, we are using some fat heads too. Either you can get the crappie size or the walleye size. Today we went with the walleye size, so it's a little bit bigger. And we just did that just to kind of weed out the smaller fish. But on this one here, I got a treble hook. I do run really small octopus hooks too. And then it's just a split shot. Real basic reel, but it's actually got, oh, this one doesn't have, but they make pins that go in here and that crazes your stop. This one here, I just crank down the reel, you know, and that keeps it down. It's in the fish, your rod sits there. And a lot of times when you perch, it just slowly brings the rod down. The fish seal feels pretty much no resistance whatsoever. And you just run over there and grab the rod, pull up and set the hook. I mean, up on Green Bay, you'll do this in 20, 25 feet of water. So you actually gotta hand over, fist it, you know, to get the all your line in. But here we're in, we're in three feet of water, so you pretty much just lift up the rod and the fish is there. But yeah, that rod just, you just watch for that rod to go down. And that fish doesn't feel any resistance when it's pulling the middle. And that's the, that's the biggest key, is you kind of try to balance it with that split shot. So when it actually takes it, it's not feeling the resistance of the rod going up. It's really easy for it just to take off. And you, you kind of set up a little bit tighter so you can get over there in a hurry. Because it's not like a tip up where you can just keep pulling line until you get there. Eventually it's gonna, gonna stop on them and they're gonna feel it. And that's when you kind of want to pick up the rod and bury that hook and get a top side. So yeah, let's get back out there and catch some more.